Hello everyone. I am back with another EL Renovates video. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you my brand new kitchen, hopefully, as well as my new floor. So let me show you the floor, first of all. So this is the floor that I currently have. Um, as you can see, it is very scratched um, and it's in pretty poor condition in some parts. Also, I really hate the color. I think it's pretty warm toned and just not really my style. I'm not that big of a fan. So I'm gonna show you what my new floor is gonna look like. Oh my gosh, like what a difference in tones. Um, and then obviously we're gonna have this gorgeous pattern with the floorboards. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like when I come home. I'm off to Canada. So hopefully there will be a big change. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. This is my current kitchen and I am so excited to have a new one because it's just, it's just really not working for me. Like there's so many strange things about this kitchen. Like for instance, you pull this out and then here is the cutlery and stuff up here in this thing. I don't know, there's just like so many annoying things. The appliances are kind of old. Reggie thinks he's having a treat, not today. This is the fridge, like this is my fridge. It's super tiny and small and like, I just, it's too, like so weird. The washing machine is in here, which I mean, it's not uncommon to have a washing machine in a kitchen in the UK, but I'm gonna move it into, there's like a little cupboard here. I'm gonna turn into my laundry room. And yeah, I just, I just think it's time to make a bit of a change. There's no treats in there, mister. Even like the cupboards are, they're very deep and just hard to kind of store stuff in. We don't even need to talk about how difficult it is to keep these countertops clean. Like any little mark and that's what I'm dealing with. So like every single day I'm cleaning this countertop like a thousand times and I just can't deal anymore. So I'm on my way off. Sylvester is doing stuff, destroying. destroying. This is how I'm leaving my kitchen. And hopefully it's gonna be nice when I return. <laughs> bye bye kitchen. I wish I could say it's been fun, but it's been literally no fun because I hate these countertops. I hated all my cupboards and everything like that. So I'm really excited to see the new one. Are you gonna do a good job demolishing today? Uh, Can I demolish something? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been about a week since I got home and I would love to show you my kitchen. It's not totally, totally finished yet, but I really wanna show it to you. You have kind of seen the floors. We've got Reggie modeling on the laundry, which is waiting to be put into the washing machine and he can sleep wherever he wants. Um, anyway, the floors are stunning. Sylvester, you've done it again. Look at him, guys, with that power nail gun. Um, how does it feel to have put down the most gorgeous flooring you've ever seen? Cool. Yeah. I love it. Um, and then, so yeah, this is the kitchen. So I guess I'm gonna start over here because this kind of gives you the best overview for the kitchen. I really, really love it. It's not finished yet, but I just don't want to keep you guys waiting much longer. These stools, I think they make the entire kitchen. These stools are by a company called Bycrea, and I'm gonna link to these down below because finding a beautiful bar stool is actually harder than you think. They're so sleek, they're so sophisticated, um, and I just absolutely love them. They're super well-made, I adore. 
And then as you can see, the actual kitchen has a really nice, um, it's not like a mint green, it's not a sage green, it's not like gray, but it's kind of like a muddy green-ish. And I think it's really modern and very cool. And then this is the countertop. I wanted to go with this style because it's kind of like a small terrazzo and it's gonna be easy to like keep it clean and make it look like, you know, I've got clean countertops at all times. As you guys remember, my last countertop was stainless steel and it was so hard to keep clean. It showed every little crumb and then once you cleaned it, it showed all these streak marks and just living with this countertop for even a week or so has just been like, life-changing. I'm going to talk about the sink. We've got Anna over here helping me out. Um, the sink is gorgeous. It's copper and I think it's very cool. And then as you can see, the beautiful tap is also copper. I think it's gorgeous and it just gives a little bit of something special. Um, and then I've got a bunch of plants here, which are obviously not going to stay here, but I'm in the middle of repotting them. Um, and then I have new appliances as well. Everything I got was from Smeg because I got a Smeg fridge, which I love. And it's cool because it has, you can see the reflection. So at nighttime, there's a beautiful sunset and it's always reflected in my fridge. But I'm so excited to finally have like a regular size fridge. If you guys remember, my last fridge was this cupboard, um, which is now drawers. So if I open this up, you can see how We've done this. We have three different drawers here. This is my tea and coffee drawer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep everything where it is now, but I just kind of threw stuff in. I have like some snacks and stuff. I've got some more snacks down there. And then this is where I keep some more of my cooking stuff. And then down here I have like my teapot and stuff like that. I also really love these leather handles. I think they're very chic and they kind of, match my couch as well as the tap. So that's that. And then again, over here, we have some more drawers. As you can see, it's not organized because it takes a long time to organize a kitchen, I'm discovering. Um, loads of stuff down here. This is where my new um, bins are. So I'm gonna have garbage and then I'm gonna have recycling. Oh, the coolest thing is this tap is actually, so this way is filtered water. And then if you push this down and pull it, this is, boiling water like instant boiling water i'm a tea addict so that's just amazing and then we've got these drawers here so for instance i've got the cutlery and then i've just got some junk in there but yes this is my kitchen i'm so excited we still have quite a few things to do as far as the renovation goes um i of course i'm going to like get well these lights are being installed all of the walls are gonna be kind of like leveled and then painted. I have um, like skirting boards going in and yeah, a few other things, but the gist of the kitchen is here. I am however thinking, I'm not sure yet, but I do wanna get some sort of shelving system here. So whether or not I extend this countertop and make a ledge or just drill in some shelves, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, the reason why this kitchen has to be this particular setup is because of my heating and air conditioning unit, which is super annoying, but these panels have got to open up. So if something ever goes wrong, this is how you get access. So I couldn't build like cupboards here or anything like that, which is really frustrating, but there was no way around it. Well, there's a way around everything, but it was very expensive so i was like that's not happening so i am really really happy things are starting to feel like you know finished ish so that's really great and i hope you guys love my kitchen as much as i do it's so nice to have it and i've even been cooking more not very well but trying so anyway that's it and i will see you in my next renovation vlog and once everything is done i'm gonna do a full-blown apartment tour so that's something to look forward to. Bye guys. I swear Celeste just does this at the perfect time, but this is how I'm living. Drilling all day, every day.